Victory Lutheran Church in Mesa, Arizona. I'm Pastor Todd Matheson. Thanks for joining with me for some Daily Hope. As we begin today, I invite you to take a moment to like this clip, and if you think it helpful, share it with someone you know who could use some hope today. So we recently celebrated Thanksgiving, and you've likely heard the admonition to make every day a day of gratitude. Now, while I could simply tell you to be thankful, urging, urging gratitude, it's, it's akin to telling someone to be happy. Both happiness and a thankful attitude come from the heart in response to something. So today I want to offer you the ultimate reason for gratitude. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you feel like you're being treated unfairly? Personally, this scenario can sometimes play out for me at a restaurant. Say after a prolonged wait, we're finally seated, but then the service is delayed. And you can't help but notice other tables seated after you are being served first. How does that make you feel? Well, if you're anything like me, an internal cry of, that's not fair, rises up within me. Isn't it something how our Fairness meter always seems to be on, assessing whether we're being treated fairly or not. In Matthew chapter 20, Jesus shares a parable about this. A landowner hires workers for a day's wage. Some worked all day, while others worked less. Surprisingly, even those hired for just one hour receive the same wage as those who labored the entire day. Now, wouldn't that set off your fairness alarm? Jesus reinforces his message by speaking as the landowner. He answered one of them, I'm not tr being unfair to you, friend. Didn't you agree to work for a denarius? Take your pay and go. I want to give the one who was hired last the same as I gave you. Don't I have the right to do what I want with my own money? Or are you envious because I am generous? Jesus' point is that God is generous with his grace. My dear friend, grace isn't fair. It's undeserved mercy. I mean, do you truly want God to give you what you deserve? I'm grateful that God doesn't. And I'm sure you are too. So let this biblical truth from Romans resonate in your heart. For the wages of sin is death. In other words, what sin pays off in is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. When we admit our struggle with sin, we acknowledge that each day should end in death. However, God in his mercy and love has paid for your sins and mine through the sacrifice of his son, Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. So dear friends in Christ, I don't need to instruct you to be thankful. The genuine spirit of thanksgiving can well up from within you as you rejoice in God's generosity toward you. You have every reason to be thankful. Every day can be a day of thanksgiving because of God's immense love and grace given to you in Christ Jesus. Join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, help us to embrace this profound truth that your grace, though unfair, is your undeserved mercy through Christ Jesus our Lord. We rejoice in the gift of eternal life, recognizing your immense love and generosity. So may a genuine spirit of thanksgiving well up within each of us as we marvel at your unending grace. I pray this in Jesus' name. Hey, thanks for joining with me today. I invite you to like and share this clip and to subscribe to Victory's YouTube channel. That's one way you can help make a meaningful impact to help us spread the good news of Jesus Christ. And take a minute to leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus our Lord.